Yes. So, what we are going to learn today is how to sound natural, how to sound relaxed when we're speaking English. And it is a very important trick in pronunciation. That is to say, how to link the words together while you're speaking so that you sound like you're speaking fast, but you're not really speaking fast because it's a, it's a very common complaint. A lot of people complain that when they listen to English, when they listen to English, they feel that the speaker speaks fast. They can't follow their speech. Difficult to understand native speakers. That happens because of what? Because of a very simple uh, pronunciation rule, which is called Hold on, please. Which is called linking sounds. Did you hear about how to link sounds before, ladies? Mm, I think. All right. So could you please explain to me? I... How do we link sounds together, Zahra? Okay, uh, when you say what, uh, what, uh, I mean, it's like what, what, and, and after it, another word, like, um, uh, what, what are, well, what are. Oh, okay. very good, very good. That is assimilation. That is very good. Yes. What about, what about, get it. Like yes, that is one way to do it. But I am teaching you something much more simpler today. Now, can you tell me, ladies, what are the vowel sounds? Vowel sounds are what? Can you give me examples of the vowel sounds? Raise hands if you want to talk, tell me about them. Okay. Go ahead, Basma. Go ahead, Basma. Okay, go ahead, Tasneem. Tasneem, Basma, I hear you ladies, go ahead. A and U and O, I. Okay. All right, so what are the consonant sounds? Everybody's unmuted, by the way, Basma. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, get. I think that constant uh, sounds is the x the x the accept of these alphabetical or these before alphabetical. So any other sounds, but the a e i o u are consonant sounds. Okay. So the rule is very simple. The rule is if there is a word that ends in a consonant sound, like the word book here, ka is a consonant sound. If the next word starts with a vowel sound, then we should link them together. Again, what is, how do we link them together? So you just simply move the ka to the next word and you say it. For example, you don't say your new book is, no. New book is, book is. Not book is, but it's book is. I'm sorry, ladies, give me a second, please. Okay, ladies, I'm sorry, I'm back. So as I was saying, the rule is, if there's a word that ends in a consonant sound, the next word starts with a vowel sound, move the consonant to the vowel. So it becomes, you don't say book is, you say book is, like this. For example, it becomes like this. This is the same as book is. Let's try the next one. Now read this sentence here. How about book is a collection of articles about. Is that the right way to pronounce it? Your new book is a collection of articles about people. Is that the right way? Yes, Gihad. Uh, not, uh, not, per yeah, not perfect pronunciation, but it is, um, and you go, it is, it is uh, good, but it is not very good pronunciation. Hmm. Any other ideas, ladies? Do you think uh, native English speakers, when they talk, they say word by word like this? Thank you, Zahra. Thank you, Ale. Manar. Yes, thank you, ladies. I see your reaction. Okay, very well. So one more time. In order to speak fast, in order to be able to follow the speech of a native speaker, in order to be able to understand native speakers, we have to learn this simple rule. 
if a consonant sound is followed by a vowel sound, you move the consonant to the next one. So it becomes bookies. You don't say, for example, uh, listen now, Paul, your new book is a collection of articles about people. Book is a collection of words, collection of articles about people. I want you to listen again to the same part here. And I want you to find and listen carefully to the consonant vowel linking. Track 34. Paul, your new book is a collection of articles about people with strange jobs. So we're not talking about actors, sales assistants or cleaners. All right. Can you repeat the same sentence? Can you repeat the same sentence? At least the first one. Until the word jobs. Yes, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, Isra, go ahead, try. Okay. You, you listen to me, good? Yes, I hear you well. Oh. Your new box is a collection of articles about people with strange jobs, so we are not talking about actors, sales assistants, or cleaners. Very, very good try. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. I would like to try again and have fun. Well done, Isra. Zahra is asking us a very good question on the chat box. Who can answer Zahra? Zahra is asking, what is the meaning of consonant sounds? Who can answer Zahra? Okay, Rauda. Hello, Rauda. You're unmuted, honey. So nobody knows what is the meaning of consonant sounds? Yes, Rauda, you are unmuted. Go ahead, talk. Please unmute yourself, Rauda. Hi, can you listen to me? Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Rauda. So anyway, ladies, the consonant sounds are any sound but these vowel sounds. So B, F, K, L, M, N, Q, any of those sounds are called consonant sounds. The rest are called vowel sounds. So we have five vowel sounds and the rest are called consonant sounds. So this means when I see a word like this, for example, the word like uh, collection, the n sound is a consonant, followed by a vowel sound, which is oh, oh, oh. So I 
link them together. How I link them? Move the consonant to the next word and it becomes collection of. Collection of. Collection of articles. Collection of articles. So, Paul, your new book is a collection of articles about people with strange jobs. So we're not talking about actors, sales assistants, or, uh, or cleaners. Let's listen to it again, this very part. Listen. Paul, your new book is a collection of articles about people with strange jobs. So we're not talking about actors, sales assistants, or cleaners. No. Who can uh, imitate them? Can you imitate what you just heard right now? Go ahead, Zahra. Paul, your new book is a collection of artists about people who change job, jobs. So we're not, you're, so we're not thinking about doctors, sales assistants, or cleaners. Sales assistants or cleaners. Very good. Something. Very good. Nice try. Well done. All right. So I want you, ladies, to go back to page. 155 and notice the linking. I want you to link exactly like you see here. You see this mark? This mark here. I want you to go to the tape recording in page 155 and mark the words that ends in consonant and the next one that starts with a vowel. What is the page number? What is the page number? Thank you. Take a minute to look. I will ask each one of you to read one of the sentences. The consonant vowel linking Isra. I will be asking each one of you to choose one sentence to read.
Okay, who's ready to read uh, this sentence? Okay, go ahead, Suhaila. Can you give us some examples? Yes, can you give us some examples? Okay, but remember, it's a question, so you have to raise your voice at the end of it. Can you give us some examples? Okay, Iman, next one, please. This one. Um, well, when furniture companies want to make improvements to their products, they employ people just their uh, I think, Iman, you have a bad connection. Uh, their people spend, they spend their work and they lay it on paper. I just couldn't hear you well because of the bad connection. Okay, Basma, can you read uh, this sentence here? These yes. people. Okay. Um, uh, well, uh, when furniture companies want uh, want to make improve uh, to their products. They, they employ people to test their furniture. These pe people spend their working day laying on bits, bits or sitting on chairs. Yes, dear, thank you. But listen, it's um, lying on beds, lying on beds. They spend a uh, working day lying on beds or sitting on chairs. All right, who can read me the very small sentence here? Yes, Tasneem? What a great job. What a great job. What a great job. Excellent. What okay. a great job. Okay, how about um, this sentence here? This sentence that starts with the word not really. Go ahead, Zahra. Not really. Sometimes they have to sit in the same chair, the same chair, lying in the same bed for hours and hours. Thank you. Okay. Amen. Again. This one here. Um, okay, that doesn't sound very exciting. Then there are fashion cookies writers. You know, wrong, the fashion yes. cookies that you get in Chinese restaurants. Getting, yes. Very good, very good. All right, how about this sentence here? Aya Samir, maybe? Aya, um, Sohaila. Hello, Aya? Yes. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Yes, I know. Uh, yes, I know what, uh, what you mean. This sentence here. You see this sentence? Can you read the sentence, Aya? Is that... Sorry? Aya, hello? I want you to read this very sentence, please. <coughs> <coughs> with the linking okay maybe basma or sohaila yes 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 huh? mm -hmm. yes yes, uh, yes this isn't uh, isn't it ah uh, but you said isn't it i hear the vowel sound i want you to link them together like yes it is isn't it 
Yes, it is, isn't it? Y yes, it is, isn't it? Very good, excellent, okay. All right. Um, well, okay, I think that is enough for this part now.